Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant attacking game played by leading German Polish chess master Johannes Zuckertort. Zuckertort is on the black side and his opponent is Karl Mayet. The game was played in 1868 in Berlin. As you know, Zuckertort was a very aggressive attacking player whose games were usually full of combinations and sacrifices and I have to tell you that this game is not an exception. In this game we are going to see a lot of fireworks. But before starting our game, want to sharpen your tactical skills. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for white. There is a forced mate and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. And now without further ado, let's get started with our game and see what happened on the board. Mayat opened up with e4 and to Zuckertort's e5 response he went for this hyper-aggressive king's gambit. Zuckertort accepted the gambited pawn and we have bishop c4, white is choosing the bishop's gambit. With this move white is inviting black to play queen h4 check after which white is putting his king on f1 and then is developing his kingside knight with a tempo but Instead of going for queen h4 check, Zuckertort chose d5. He is offering his d pawn in order to open up his light squared bishop's diagonal and speed up the development. Here white can choose between bishop takes d5 or he takes d5. Actually bishop takes d5 is better but in our game we have he takes d5. And finally queen h4 check is on the board. King f1, bishop d6 and White developed his knight with a tempo. Queen h6. This black queen is both keeping its eye on f4 square and at the same time can support the advance of the g pawn. d4 was played. Knight d7. Bishop b5 check. Bishop d7. In here we have the exchange of light square to bishops on d7 and c4 with c5 threat. That's why black himself played c5. After which white captured en passant. Knight takes c6 c5 bishop c7 and knight c3. This is a mistake which allows black to gain advantage. Instead it was better to announce a check from e2 and now if black avoids the exchange of queens and moves his king on f8 then white can play queen b5. And actually white is managing to equalize the game though the position still remains highly complex and double edged but in our game after bishop c7 we have knight c3 and without meeting any obstacles Zuckertort castled queen's side already his king is in safety while white king looks somewhat vulnerable still white needs to lose a precious time in order to castle by hand and also this bishop remains very passive due to this pawn on f4 here we have queen e2, knight f6, queen c4, rook e8, black is centralizing his pieces, b4, and knight g4. White kept on attacking by playing b5, but Zuckertort's answer was shocking. Believe it or not, but in here he captured on d4. This is a powerful deflective move with which black wants to lure away this knight from f3 squared and put his queen on h4. That's why after knight takes d4 white didn't dare to accept the sacrifice and he himself occupied this h4 square with his pawn. But this move is weakening the g3 squares too much and Zuckertort moved back his knight on f5 both opened up his rook's path and at the same time threatened knight g3. Also there is this Knight e3 check, right? In Black is also threatening to win this queen. Black's position is totally winning. White went for a desperate queen takes f7, but this time stepped into knight g3 check. King g1. And as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Black's next move. Ready? Well, look, all the time this queen on h6 was like out of the game. That's why. Johannes Zuckertort finds a brilliant way in order to switch his queen into the attack and he puts his queen on d6. Look at this move guys, this is simply fantastic. With this move he's exploiting the vulnerability of this diagonal. 
If you accept the queen's sacrifice, then bishop b6 check is coming and white king is getting checkmate hit. And by playing queen d6, black actually threatens, queen takes c5 with a mate to come. And also, there is this queen d1 threat, right? White played bishop a3, neutralized both threats, but now comes queen d3. White made a desperate knight d5 move, but stepped into this queen f1 sacrifice. Finally, Zucker Torte is forcing his opponent to accept his queen sacrifice, after which he announces a checkmate. Look at this brutal checkmate, guys. This is simply astounding, and I have to tell you that a typical checkmate with two knights had been carried out for the first time in this form by Zuckertort himself. Well, thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. In the end here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care!